ban that stage. <laughs> <laughs> that stage is a no, but every everything else, pretty solid. But hey, we're going to the Arizona Classic, going arguably to the Rivals Classic. Here's Merchant Port, game one. And with a lot of platforms to play around, I think there's a big opportunity here for Fruit Loops to just rack up safe damage. And he's going to need that because there's equally a lot of opportunity for Bagel to find big damage of himself that also clears the space for him to assert ice control onto the stage and then potentially rack up armor if necessary. Look at these dash attacks into wave into wave dashes that came out from Bagel. It's only a little bit of ice, but he's making full use of it to try and cross up Fruit Loops. Yet this is where Fruit Loop needs to find not only damages, but stocks as the up air. Woo! That was a deep one. I feel like the, the quintessential, the bagel stamp of approval is finding Edelus up airs in the weirdest of places. <laughs> hey, you gotta work with what you got, especially against a swift character like Rano. Like, Rano could just sort of find himself somewhere on stage when you blink and you just don't know how he got there. Good movement in his own right, both on the ground and in the air, coupled in with how you can move around with side special. Like, you gotta do everything you can to just nail this frog wherever you find him, and that's exactly what Bagel's managing to do. Covering in, yeah, but good patience on Fruit Loose Heart just to go for the neutral tech, despite how risky that can be and how dangerous it feels to get caught in a block of ice. But sets go and stocks fly very quickly. But at the end of the day, everyone battles it out. And it looks like Fruit Loops is battling it out to the very end. A couple of these back airs. Oh, look at this combo going. Oh, Ooh, we are out here right now. Bit of a deep recovery, but still very doable for Bagel. Gets his wall jump in as well and carrying it forward strong. There we go. Get the bubble asserted, but does not matter. Up air. Start of the set. And then it's game one. And it ends in the same fashion. A high bait for uh, going with that fast fall forward air as a tool of pressure. And he still catches him once he lets Fruit Loops go high. It's the part of the bait, and the bait worked. Bait worked twice. Just snatch. Yup. You see how deliberate like the bubble placement was too? Just hook line and sinker bagel takes game one. <laughs> Talking about bubbles, we're going to start inside of it, in fact, this game two brings us over to Treetop. It's a very risky stage pick, hold on. Yeah, it's... It feels like Fruit Loops has one goal in mind. It's, how do I, how do I make Bagel not play the game? And so far, Bagel starting off with a really starting off with a combo that was really good for Fruit Loops. But the higher this percent goes, the harder it's going to be to keep him in that way. And they, ooh, almost looking at some pre patch shenanigans with that needle into up air. But good DI on Bagel's part. Survivability is the name of the game, and as long as he keeps surviving, he can find these up tilts and he can find all of the hit stun that comes with him. Uh, there he goes. Ooh, excellent catch. Bagel going to be moving things right along. This is part and why I thought this was a very risky stage coming into this one, because I feel like there's so many options available to Bagel on how to extend the stock longevity, and Fruits has to do everything in his power to make sure that he can deny that. An excellent combo, breaks through the armor, and takes the stock. That felt practiced. It's like, I just need this number of hits, this number of repetitions to break the armor, and close out the <gasps> stock! Holy moly! And, and he's he back! <laughs> and he armored himself with forward air to make sure he had a safe return to the stage. Yo, the amount of discipline on both of these players in this game is just breathtaking. The fact that this is happening on Treetop of all stages too, like... It's so deep. It's so deep and knew that he could be fine because Edelus has the tools to do so, namely that forward air. MVP! Yo! He died for it, but if he got it, I would've popped. I'm not gonna front. <laughs> Oh, yeah. oh my word, but there he freaked it. <laughs> he did that. You only so far I believe that means he is three for four on up airs off stage. And at that's seventy-five percent. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's <laughs> devastating. Turtle Turtle bread, turtle bread, turtle bread, turtle bread, turtle bread, turtle bread, turtle bread. <laughs> we are now playing exclusively off of audio. Let's get this. Okay, we got a replay. We got a replay. Uh, we're on Julesville for game three. Nice. There we are. <laughs> That's all I needed to give you folks before we got a visual. Oh, and I think stage-wise, this is a really good call from Fruit Loops. Uh, if you're able to carry all of your momentum off of one combo, this is a stage that really cements how lethal that style of play is. Unfortunately for Fruit Loops, it's Bagel who's going to be exhibiting that correct style of play. 
Yeah, Bagel is shown to be lethal on every stage and every which way imaginable. These down bees off uh, onto the side of the, st of the stage while working not so great against uh, the ZB variety. Working pretty good so far against Fruit Loops. O over uh, one for Ooh. one. Great timing, finding the late hit of that forward air after the bubble had just popped. Keeps Fruit Loops in this game. And another one, gotta be careful about sitting at that normally very nice angle. Not so much against Rana. There's just a very large lack of safety, and that was unfortunate execution error from Fruit Loops. I feel like if there's any player right now that you need to be not giving free stocks to, it's Bagel. <laughs> Proving very much that he could uh, cement momentum in his own. And in fact, he's going to take that gift of a stock and make it extend quite some way. Hey, but he's been pretty plus on some of these tech chases, though. That's as off of the down special. Yes, yeah, so find a, a bubble recovery to get back, and... No, he will no. not. No, he won't. He will, in fact, find his way to a ninth place spot as Bagel moves along into top eight. Yeah. 3-0 and a handshake, and something that always felt like it was in Bagel's grasp. Yeah. Quite literally, in some cases, with how many up airs he landed. But it was Bagel showing that even with a character that has com commonly been seen as combo food, he knows how to make the most of what the character does, and he knows how to poke holes in the weakness of a character like Rano, where at these higher percent, you take your low percent tax, but at these higher percents, you're forcing Rano to commit a little bit too hard, and one overextension is all it takes to get to fall victim to a polar bear's claws. It's one of those situations where you know you're playing a character who is slower and heavier than the rest of the cast, and so you have to size up, okay, for every one neutral interaction I win, they're gonna win three. I have to make sure that in that one neutral interaction that I win, I manage to do more damage, take stocks more consistently, and take more stage control. And that's something that Bagel has broken down to a science. Right. The way that his Edelus is just always in these top eights, and always in the top 16s, and just always just guaranteed success. It is very much the result of a strong game plan and even stronger execution of that game plan. Yeah, he broke it down and he executed accordingly. All part of the plan and all part of that master plan to make it into top eight without a game being dropped mm -hmm. in, well, without a game being dropped in loser side thus far. But if there's anything that we can see from this top eight, it's that there is a rough road ahead of all of these players because there's going to be some classics, there's going to be some refreshing ones, and of course there's going to be ZB Penguin in winner's finals <laughs> more than likely. <laughs> indeed, indeed. We're going to come to hey, a ZB's quick crazy. break. Before we get to that top eight, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, stay tuned for the rest of TAPS 4. <laughs> 